Welcome back. Kill hero like toss like one rotation he just dies to every like snowball combo. Whereas like tornado and cold snap you can protect yourself really well. Yeah. And and against strength heroes, mana burn is always fantastic. Oh, Zai just died down bottom actually. Hey. Top lane though is uh, Mickey is struggling a little bit against Spider Bubble. There's the Frostbite, they wanted to get a hook off, but nice to look and he just stops them, and now Mickey could hook under tower, but there's no point to it because he's already dead. Yeah, and Sania's trying to body block there, it doesn't work unfortunately, so more than one it's a pile. <laughs> <laughs> That's how that works. I said started to pile up. You'll see, look, another dead body perhaps here. A save. Oh, maybe maybe actually Mickey. He's a very big dead body, and Sania starts to body block, and he's not going to succeed. <laughs> Sounded like you. I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just saying, but like, I think, uh, oh, Mickey, as he, uh, this members, heals up a little bit, that Sunstrike is very low level, but it's gonna be just enough. Sometimes that's all you need to guarantee a kill. Like, if Pudge is not, can't tank his own rot, because he can't right now. Now maybe you can kill the Invoker and help yourselves out. With this, Wobber Sponge, tricks of the trade, little bonus damage, the Cogs will push Ricky out, but who cares if Invoker's dead? So... Uh, as long as he stays alive. Hookshot mid. Exactly, and he is not going to stay alive for long if he gets hookshotted and subsequently killed off. He's doing some damage at least. Good for he him. He did some damage, yeah. There's no griefs yet for Death Bomb for Bush. He's close. 500 gold. So. Another hookshot. This is for Nisha yet again. They even steal the illusion room from him. Smokescreen trying to help out Nisha, but. No, he avoided his own ice shards. But the tornado is unavoidable because there's no more snowball. He tried to hook it, but a spider blocks it. However, he will be fast enough to go up to that high ground. Body blocks everywhere. Spawn spider doesn't kill him. 150 HP on Nisha. He's being chased by a big spider and four small ones. And the silken bull have not enough damage, but the ice shards will. And that's a Nisha that's dead. A Zai that's running away. And a poor Ricky who can't really run from five heroes at the same time. Oh, four, okay. sorry. Nicely done running him down like that, but... Oh, wow, well, the map is theirs though. It doesn't feel like there was any time when they had to stop. Oh, in fact, no. this proves it. They have Vessel now, so Mickey could be in trouble. Big Brood Mama's coming! He's in the trees, but he can't uh, escape the spider, nor the meteor apparently, as the soul and frostbite kills him off. Ooh, okay. Boxy avoiding the fight there, that was really close. Yeah. Foxy now has the shard right, so he's useful. So we got, are going to see some hooking uh, happening. Yes. It's going to be on the Invoker here, and Invoker stuck in no man's land. They're going to try to go for him as a freezing field is happening in the triangle. It is going to be insane. Trying to gain some time while they kill the enemy mid laner. GPK is down, and the Sania will join him, but he buys back immediately, hoping to chase them out. And the Rubik is put to sleep, but he's going to have a rude awakening with Zai taking his life. Sorry, Mika taking his life. He can turn into the, uh, the Pudge and steal a bunch of stats. He'll take. Uh 20% of their stats, and... Stat average is... Wait, no, it's on target. And it's gonna be the target first with the Walrus Punch. Hard Tokyo will fall rather quickly, freezing field just to make Insania a viable target. Actually, the extra armor is making them hard, is making them hard to kill. They hit him with a vessel though, plus a sun strike, and that'll guarantee with Mickey utilizing his blink direct close to GPK. They try to get close to GPK to finish him off with the spirit siphon on top of that. This member, <laughs> GPK won't live, and the snowball continues the fray as Mickey gets saved thanks to Nisha. They wanted to finish up your, but they couldn't quite catch up to him. I guess it's gonna be Fudge. Let's see if they can get another hook. Ooh, bad angle. Sure. Oh, that hook will get the Brood Mother. They lack the damage, unfortunately. Dying but now. finally, they'll bring her down. As Nisha does have to sacrifice himself for this kill. Toronto Tokyo still stuck inside his own cogs. Freezing field has to be stopped. And now it does seem like Beppum. A good chance. Things are to resist. That morphing is hard Ooh. to kill, but the hook will bring him back. He's still silenced. Rooted now thanks to the smoke screen. Did he have to reshift in time? He did. Just barely getting that extra strength. And Pure will be able to wait for himself to safety. The sleeping dart, though, will set oh. up for another hook. Under tower, dismember as well. They cancel a dismember, but the cost of GPK's life. And save will die for his sins. Here, most green to boot. Their nukes were enough to like give people low to first team. That, yes. that like early mid game time. Oop, they got oh. brood. Yeah, that was a sleeping dart. And with this, they punch the brood up, and she comes down with broken bones as Clockwork decides to also die because you know if you die with someone, you feel a little better about it. They do. Exorcism pops, so we'll see if they can set up and find a way into this fight. But they're gonna know where their opponents are. Oh, Nisha goes in. 
Yeah, and I'm trying to find the clockwork first. Art of Tokyo. He's not dead Four. yet. The pipe was protecting him for now. Uh, they try to chase him down. Silent stop. Instead, the rest of the BKBs are popped here. Hey, he's going to die. Pure with the alacrity, sending Mickey away. There's no more dismember. So Pure is kind of free here. Insane. He tries to get the extra armor. That's not going to help him. They finally put him to sleep, but they just cannot take them right now. Beppu. A routing liquid away. Tornado that catches two away for him to finish off Nisha. And a dead punch to boot. Liquid are not that strong. That alacrity. You gotta be a little bit careful with that Morphling. It even comes a little shard for them. So Nightfall might be able to get... Oh, actually, no. It's no longer the good shard. Mascotti had some potential for the anti-healing. But why not just freaking kill him? With the Daedalus. That just sounds smart. Okay, they might actually run into a smoke, or perhaps it's Liquid who's running into them. As now Mickey, his summer has been cancelled, it's the TP BKB, and I can, oh, it's not gonna work. A hook shot cancels it immediately. Zai at least has the, the Psychic Headband, so he can push the Rockhook away, so nobody else will die from Liquid, but that fight was not something Liquid expected. He <laughs> even tried to get a cheeky hook shot, a hook play, sorry, but that is not gonna work out. We still have 70 more seconds, and the punch comes back, but there's an Aegis on the Morphin, there's no reason for retreat. Lacquer well, at least ran out, but Pure still hits like a truck. Or like, a, you know, the, the dentist water gun. I asked you this about Bebum earlier. You answered me correctly. Power spike on the Morphling. Yes, you're I completely so. right, okay, Perch. Okay. So now what does Liquid do? What is the power spike they're looking for? Trying to turn this around. They need the reverse Morphling power spike. They there it is. <laughs> I don't think that's what they were looking for. At least they caught the Broodmother here with this hook. But, oh, they hooked her away. The, she has Aeon Disc anyway, so she's fine. I think that was them hooking her away, actually. Like, right, the traditional Rax. carry wins, man. That's what's happening. Why try weird traps when you can just, you know, good draft do good? It's only 13k world of oh, You're right. Players. You're right, but the Morphling is looking scarier and scarier by the second. Got silence, like, give me an opportunity. They gave him a lacquer for no reason. Ooh, the Force Staff! Right on that hook! But now they're just, they're up against the better carry. Shot. Here comes the fight now. He's jumping away as the Pudge. Okay. Yeah, Pure has that resist, so he's fine. He stuns the Aegis anyway for six more seconds. Zai now goes in, Exorcism used, BKB as well, and now they're a little bit afraid. Zai, the true win condition here. But, oh, GPK is not afraid. GPK is actually. Oh, he calculated that perfectly! The BKB runs out at the same time as the tornado hits with a sucker punch from Rubik. They try to finish off Zai. The Spirit Vessel is taking her down. Instead, an easier target is going to be Insania, who's blown up by a shotgun. Zai has been scouted out in the trees. Another sucker punch to send her to her death. As they are going to go for the final tier fours, spamming Nisha's line. Little hook here, trying to catch the Morphling, but the Manta style dodge, saving from the silence instead of the BKB. There's still a lot of damage coming out, but Pure's capable of wave forwarding himself to safety. And Zai will use his Psychic Headband with a hook! That was an interesting play here to try to kill off the Morphling, but TP still is not going to work out! The Snowball will be sufficient with the extra damage at level 15. Dude, that was wild. Blinks in front of him, and then Psychic zaps headbands. him with his headband. Maybe he was like, there's no way they kill this guy yep. in BKB. But then it ran out, and they chased him down. And then used their noggins in a smart way to get a kill. <laughs> yeah, GPK will die in the bottom lane, though. That was another... That was the opposite. Okay. Let's see. Morphling's position's gonna break it. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not Nope. Goes in. I just blinked it. Exorcism. Our Tokyo got hooked to... Uh, Tokyo is fine. He's, he's gonna be safe inside his cogs. Doesn't really matter. He even has a BKB on top of that, so nothing can kill Tara Tokyo right now. The hook is just a save hook for Nisha. They're being routed. Liquid. They lack the damage. Up to the high ground they go. They just need to avoid Zai right now. Make it try to keep himself alive with his member. Pure though, he does get the Lotus Orb just in time to go inside the snowball. And that will save him for a couple more seconds. And try to sleep dart him. Pure is still alive. The punch went down. Nisha does as well. They just don't have enough burst. Zai might be unkillable, but they need something else. Telekinesis will save Pure. Back to the low ground he goes. As Insania forced does himself to safety here. There's the cogs here. Insania in trouble. He is going to go down. And in <laughs> Nightfall finally decides to deal with a big bad boss that is Zai. The ice shard him inside. This poor Zai. Spirit Vessel can no longer hear, heal. Sorry. He doesn't have any ghosts to save him either. And even has the meteors to okay. kill him. Are they going in? 
Yeah, they do. They try to find the punch. Turn him into a little piggy, and that's going to be a lot of ham collected. Goodbye to Mickey. Sleeping dart stolen by the Rubik, so now it's their time to play as they put the Ricky to sleep. Can they awake him? Nope, yeah, it's the blink strike. Never mind! Even inside the fountain, Ricky's not safe. Neither might be Insania. And that is go Insania, sorry, as Pure decides to fountain die for one last bit of BM in perfect bet boom fashion. Liquid will be forced to call the GG. Well, it was a cool try. Can you beat the brood with the uh the CM Pudge? You probably can in your pubs, but when you're playing against these like top ranked players in the world. That was his favorite voice line. He still uses it occasionally. Wow. Thank you for the five dollars. You guys can still buy purchase voice line if you send five dollars to at purge gamers. I don't know if that works. Night no, just <laughs> just have to send you the money. Nightfall will die to Nisha. Yeah. yeah, he was he was flashy in, in different ways, I guess. He was very much a top six down with Tara Tokyo. He does die to the Star Storm. That was I'm really glad we just talked how <laughs> of how good he was as boss to the last. <laughs> it's a bro. This is this. What f what the mid player wait, would ever do this kind of play? Does he have two raindrops? He does have two raindrops. That's interesting. Uh, Nisha, because of this rotation by Toronto Tokyo, can this work out? We'll see. Nisha's stuck in the cogs, so but he's fighting back. They don't. They do have enough damage. Never mind. The tiebreaker will actually get him, and he's going to fall as ne as uh, Toronto Tokyo falls with him. GPK will get rid of the trains by sending them up in the air, even getting a region rune in the process. And he got two both bottles. Okay, Toronto Tokyo redeemed himself. He's fine. He's good. He did a great job here. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, pro tip, guys. If you have two raindrops in your inventory, they both go on cooldown. Uh, let's see if they can find uh, Insania here. Another rotation by GPK once again. It's time to commit the boat. But this time, they're in tier twos, right? Oh, my God. The okay. burst damage with the Kunkka is He's like, like, surely this time <laughs> I can defend the tower for free gold and experience it. And said, nope. Nope. Punch. Can they land the arrow But, here? rotation, okay, the it's creep takes farming, the arrow. Just farming, just farming. Right. Farming arrow. Now, leap, forward, catch something else, perhaps is the Konka. Okay, Torn, saving him, but not for long. NP's in front of him, they even clap him. As they're looking to finish him off, the Sprout will actually set up for the Sun Strike somehow. With the minus armor. Nope, hook shot for the Invoker. Talking about this very build, how will it say it this time? Not with a sharpshooter, it's kind of impossible. Toronto Tokyo is being dropped pretty low, but luckily the save from Nightfall will keep him alive. Making sure that he can't die. You know, sharpshooter felt really good. It does that. It's we like underestimate a, the Hulk. It's, it's like a 45 second finger of death. Yeah, it really is, especially if we can consistently get it out. And, and the crazy range too. Saves I. Ooh, nicked by the ghost ship. Rough one. If he ran straight down, he probably dodges it, but then he's like really not side. Okay, pure. This could be the target. This, this would be a valuable target. Can they get the combo off in time? No, Rather oh, yeah. kind of takes him. He already got the the Oh he's dying. Magic with shifts off. It doesn't really matter. The damage is Shit. way too high. Pure dies in the middle of his engagement. Nisha though falls as a result, and now Mick is being run down. He tries the DP. Is there anything to no, cancel it? There is a Nika. Mickey will actually get away in time as Zai gets bushwhacked, making sure that he does die. His black dragon might be in trouble as well. A little bit of extra gold for Bet Boom, but they excited to ignore the creep instead, concentrating their efforts on Boxy, who has a leap to be able to get away. Torn for a little bit of vision does all also get Insania, the Overgrowth is ready, and they're fighting with this Black Dragon, hoping to at least get the kill on Nightfall, but Nightfall will heal very soon, Grease is available, it's time to go for the creep now, at 250 gold, will be GPKs. Dude, that Dragon did a lot of damage to the Morphling, but like... Yes. That, uh, that super long duration stun that they got was... Hmm. They're invisible though. There's gonna be a hook shot. Hitting the Beastmaster, Zive. Invisible, not quite, and Zai is going to be brought down a matter of seconds as Mickey activates BKB, starts wailing on them. Unfortunately, his team is falling nearby, which forces Mickey to TP back home. There's nothing to stop this TP, but that's okay, because they've already gotten the two kills they were looking for. Most likely, that booming running south, but look at this, Liquid's already invading. They're going to spot GPK. He doesn't know that they know, but stunners aren't quite here yet. Zai going to maybe catch Nightfall? 
Nice fall, okay, there's a Sun Strike as well, but the Torrent kind of turns it into initiation. Zayak takes the BKB, now they do send Nisha away, BKB. and that's going to allow them to get the kill on him, as Zai is at least able to survive for a couple more seconds, enough to kill around to Tokyo, sets up the Hawk just to get a stun out, but the Hawk is destroyed before he can even fall. There's a bunch of ghosts chasing Zai, by the way, and that, plus the shotgun, will send him to the grave. Like yep. Oh my god, it died so fast! <laughs> that is destroying their towers and they're barely committing to this. They even have the Beastmaster Roar on top of this, by the way. It just it was like doing 250 damage and hit to that range bear. Ooh, the hook shot though! Finds Sai! Has time to duck the BKB, good bushwhack though. There's the BKB activated, but Insania is just decimated! They caught Pure with the Primal Roar! The arrow also hit, but he does get the Mother Style off just in time. The Hawk to keep him in place, he's still rooted. Now disarmed, but still alive, and that's what matters here. As now the rest of Liquid with Alacrity oh running out on this poor okay. Nature's Prophet. No, he's fighting back. Oh. Alacrity's still on him. He's going to destroy the, the Death Prophet. She is down for the count. GPK falls as well. Oh. Pure can't deal with Mickey. This man's too formed. He will survive oh the whole engagement oh, purge. Shit. Tip Mickey for this man is enough gold to beat Bet Boom to the Dude, ground. That was really wild. I mean, ultimately, the, one of the crucial parts. Somebody cut down the hoodwing tree. One of these corners yes, was Yes, and the trouble. four staff from Boxy, I don't know if you saw, but they actually got enough space between him and the Morphlin. So they and right. then slap a Beastmaster on top, screw it, with the <laughs> Blads. Oh, that's why he's like, he had Blads the whole time. That makes sense, right, right. Oh, Thank they get a catch. There's the hoodwink. He's dead. Tar Tokyo also oh. got... What the hell was that? He died in like two hits? I think he tried to hookshot. I'm not sure we tried to hookshot, but he got blocked by the Ancient Golem. Oh my god, it's just like... Burn. Yeah, well, okay. Give it a second. He just mother stalled out of the sprout, I think. Yeah, but now they're hitting buildings. Oh, they they cut the creep wave. They got the exorcism out. The tornado though. Yeah, with the tornado EMP, it turns this aggression for a pet boom, and all I have to do is wait the exo out. Wave is up mid though. Okay, there's arrow going mid. I don't know. Oh, they forced the PKB from GPK. That is huge. Yep. Now they definitely keep going, especially with exorcism running out in about 10 seconds. They'll yeah. do it safe for now, then they'll keep going. They'll lose the Ancient. Oh, they found an opportunity. They've leashed a Morphling. He has no waveform either, but it's okay. It's okay. They don't want to overcommit to the Exo. They understand their position. Insania's already in the trees. Look at him. <laughs> Secret Agent Insania in the base. They know he's there. Oh, no. My cover's been blown. Someone come save him. He has an overgrowth. That will save him. And in fact, they even get the Range Rex. Well, they're going to try to take the range tracks first, go for the easy ones. Okay, they still have an Aegis, so it's fine. Mickey doesn't care too much. Good Halberd. He is a good Halberd, but... Okay, they had a Clelling Blade to get out of this proud. That's fine. Range tracks not going to fall yet. They get a combo of Bushwhack into the Ghost Ship, forcing the BKP. As they now turn the Lokunka into a pig. However, he's still Tank. tanky pig. So is the DP. The Morphling trying to break the back lines, going for the Invoker instead. But Nisha has multiple forces to save his head. And now Pure will try to leap himself to safety, turning into the Marana. Now it's time for the DP to die, unless they send him back just in time. Secret Agent Insania stuck to a tree, turned invisible, saving himself. As Mike gets the life kill of his lifetime, he will kill Pure. Back to falling. HP and that will call the GG as Liquid take in number two equalizing the series showing they are still a force to be reckoned with. Man, what's kind of cool about this this series at least these two games is that